Question number nine. David Seymour. Uh, well, thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Justice uh, and reads as follows. Is she satisfied with the imprisonment rate for convicted burglars? The Honourable Mr. Amy Speaker. Adams. Uh, criminal law sets the penalties for burglary offences, all of which include significant imprisonment terms as a possible penalty. Sentencing decisions in each case are the responsibility of trial judges who decide what sentence to impose based on the facts of each case. I am satisfied that the range of available penalties provided in legislation for convicted burglars is appropriate. Supplementary question, David Seymour. Uh, has the Minister seen evidence from the 123rd edition of the Economic Journal showing that in the Netherlands, where enhanced sentencing for the most prolific recidivist, recidivist burglars lowered overall burglary and car theft rates by as much as 40 per cent? The Honourable Amy Mr. Speaker, Adams. well, to date, I haven't seen any evidence that more use of imprisonment terms for convicted burglars will lead to a reduction in reoffending. What we have seen is that imprisonment is already the most common sentence for burglary offences, and yet there is still a recidivism rate that is too high. Supplementary. Supplementary question, David Seymour. Uh, is the Minister aware that in 2013, 28% of convictions for burglaries who already had two burglary convictions uh, did not result in any prison sentence? And if so, would she consider a policy change to target such recidivist individuals? The Mr. Speaker? Honourable Amy Adams. Well, Mr. Speaker, I haven't seen the statistics the members quoting. What I have seen is advice that suggests that uh, in more than 50% of cases for recidivist burglars, they are sentenced to an imprisonment term. Uh, and in terms of considering changes to policy, I'm always happy to discuss them, but I'm not going to commit to policy changes in question time. Fair enough. Question.